Creepings everybody and welcome to Serious Creepers Adventures in Ken Follows the Pillars of the Earth. This is like a, you know, old school point and click adventure game or I think it's also called Graphical Novel now. It's based on the, on the book of the same name, The Pillars of the Earth, which I have not read, so I don't know anything about the story. But it looks really interesting and it's made by um, Daedalic or Daedalic, depending on how you want to uh, pronounce it, Entertainments, who is pretty well known for a lot of good... Adventure games, one of my favorite companies that still makes really nice old school adventure games. And I've been sent one of the keys from the developers, which is amazing because I really was looking forward to play this game. Right now, we can only play book one though. It's split into chapters one to seven. There are two more books. Uh, the second one is supposed to be released in December 2017, and the third one sometime uh, early next year. So. But for now we can play the first seven chapters, so that's all good. So I think let's just uh, jump right into it. I'm gonna go through the tutorial, but I don't think I'm gonna include it in the video, so I'll be right back. This should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? And maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Alright. Uh, yeah, I just went to the, through the tutorial and as expected, it's very, you know, normal controlled, so that's all good. Okay, that yeah, didn't do much yet. Enough. I told you. Cool. So we have, the flint is dwindling, but the steel still shines. Let's blow a fire starter. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You oh, said okay. I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? Uh, some of these answers <laughs> are timed. You know I could do so much more. You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then. And look where it brought us. Just promise me you'll think about it. Alright. I need to find some proper water. A clue. You just collected a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them and use them on, ob on objects to ponder how the clue and the object might be connected. 
So even though the Maybe controls, sell the baby. Alfred, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Uh, he's a little bit of a cynical person now. Uh, I need to find water. Book one book. Yeah, even though it's very standard, like control-wise, there are actually elements in here that I haven't really seen in this type of game before. Very, uh, or oh, some of them are very like Stupid the telltale snow. ones. Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Yes. You know, like, uh, there's timed answers and there's some we Can this you see little mini-games. No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working. You're cutting the terminal. Tom's, uh, Norman? Is that how you say this? Inspected. Ooh. Tom's staff. Tom received his mason's tool as a farewell gift in Exeter, 1125. He uses it to lay the groundwork for new buildings. Its shadow can tell time and point out the east, the direction a church must always face. Exeter was Tom's first time working on a cathedral, and initially it was like any other job. His master builder often scolded him for not working up to the uh, standard. But soon Tom began to understand the importance of proportion, the symbolism of numbers, and the almost magical formulas for solid structures. The staff reminds him of his dream to one day build a perfect cathedral from the ground up. Nice. A little bit of background, or a little bit of character building, I guess. We know that he's a very ambitious builder, it seems like. He wants to build something grand. Not just small houses and walls for the common folk. He wants something, you know, that lasts and people Hungry. will probably remember his, his work. Which I totally understand, that's awesome. Very ambitious man. Not sure why he doesn't want to get the snow water though. I mean, it should be clean, right? But I guess he thinks his family deserves more. Sure. No, goodbye crows. I like crows. Let's inspect this rock. Can't inspect that rock, apparently. Oh. No? Okay. Beautiful. Guess he likes it. All right. Dirty snow. <laughs> I can't carry it in my hands. Well, you don't want to take it anyway, so might not even do it. Frozen puddle. <coughs> that must hurt. Oh, too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Oh, okay. I was going to say you should probably bring the staff. But I guess that works. Houses and sheds. Ah yes. See there's like a mini game here where you have to like time things. Ah damn it. <laughs> oh. I could do so much better. And ah damn it. De harder, Tom. Harder. Yes, yes. Nope. By God. I, I think there's a little bit of delay or something. Feed my family. It it seems to be a bit laggy. I don't know why. Tom, what's keeping you? That should do. The wife is calling me. I don't think the um. I, I might not quite understand inspect. Right click is supposed to be inspect, but it just makes that poof poof sound. Hmm. Actually, let me check something. Ah, there we go. I had to restart. There was a weird issue, and it seems a lot smoother now too. I think I had some weird settings. Yeah, so right-clicking, you actually see things. They deserve better than that. But if we cook it, it will be fine. Plain snow. Dirty it with crow muck. Okay, I wouldn't drink that either. There must be something better. Yeah. The rock. Strong granite. If broken down properly, these would make a powerful porticus. Or just another plain boring door. Alright. Ah, much better. Little technical difficulties, but it's okay. All right, so we got our water for our family.
Uh, do I want to heat this up still? I don't know, probably. Probably not so good to drink cold water in this place. Oh yeah, we want to cook with it. Um, did you think about what I asked you? Uh, I would probably take the job. Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Uh, start with the vaults. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Put in windows. So of course you may want some light coming in. Windows? Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. And you a smart kid. So we need some doors. Right. That's why we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. It will teach them all. It will teach them all. Like this? <laughs> Mama? Uh oh, what's happening? Is the baby ready? Oh, is she having issues? <laughs> oh, that's not good. The baby is coming. But it's not G. Have your water's broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. <laughs> you just kept it for yourself. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> That's not helping, buddy. Uh, help Agnes. Okay, children, go, children. go away first of all. Uh, Martha. <laughs> Martha. Uh, uh, ooh, we're going to need some reeds. Sure. Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. What about me? You get some warm water. Get more water. That's and important. If you must make it warm. Right. All right, Agnes. Uh. Uh. Hold her. Man, what do you do? Your hands are cold. Oh crap. Yeah, I'll warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. Okay, okay. Uh, tell her a story. Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. She took us to our own chamber and 
poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Okay. What can I do to help? Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. The water's warm now. Put it okay. next to me. Good timing there, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. What it was called, Jens. What else? What else can I do? Keep me warm. Yeah, okay, we we'll go around. I guess that's all we get out of here. Okay, good. Order. I'm here with you. I know. It's not long now. Be ready. Oh boy. Um okay, hold on. So you think he can do Alfred? Where's Martha? Uh, take care of your sister. Uh, okay. I don't know what to do. Sister. She's all right. She's busy. Let me help too. Okay, fine. Build a bigger fire. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood. Do what your father tells you. Y yes, mother. It's coming. Help me, Tom. I can see it. It looks horrible. <laughs> He's perfect. A perfect boy. Wow. You're still bleeding. That's it's bad, right. yeah. It will stop soon. Are you sure about that? Tom. Yes. Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Don't you me die too. on me now. Are we I good? Hope you build your cathedral. Oh no, don't say it like that. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. But don't do it for all. People are scared enough these days. Do it for me. Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Ah, oh, man. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up.
Ah, we get a little bit of a summary here. What you did. You think a casino should inspire awe. You were hesitant to accept just any job the bishop might offer. You struggled to support Agnes during childbirth. Uh, <laughs> you found information about Tom's past. Okay. And I'm guessing that some of these things will have effects on the story, maybe. And we definitely saw that she uh, kind of like talked about my choice here about the awe. I'm guessing if I chose something different, she would have a different line there. I'll accept it. 